with each other by bridges and dams will become the area of top comfort for a whole community in Netherlands and the central attraction for tourists from all over the world. Along the areas of coastline, the restful beaches, parks, tennis courts, and golf courses, panoramic views of the azure water from your own windows. Isn't this why everyone in love with the sea? Inspired by the marine time theory, the project's creators have ventured to construct a city simulating an arena of wide sails with architectural copies of the marine flora and fauna. A bird's eye view of the city image, a gigantic monster protecting the quiet harbor, a business center, numerous shopping malls, a concert hall, and a racing circuit will attract the urban element. These are islands will have the world's tallest hotel, a Zerbaijan Tower. The crown of this highly ambitious undertaking, the architectural miracle of a Zerbaijan Tower, will become a visiting part of our country. This is an ideal combination of a happy life and a successful business with a people capable of indulging a completely different way of life. This is not a wish, this is a Kazakh Islands. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Am I audible? Thank you. As you saw on the video, this is a project of not today, but future. Okay, next. <clears throat> I'd like to give you a brief information about its location, the location of our new city. It's next. next. No. Okay. As you see, the Hazar Islands new city is located on this red point. It's 23 kilometers away from Baku. Why we chose the, this location? There are some basic reasons, key reasons. First is that the, the water in this area, the cleanest, and the wind is weaker than, to in, than uh, another side of the, uh, of the Caspian Sea. And also, uh, it's less populated area, as you see. And also, the, the other reason is that it's seabed. It's from strong clay, as well as it's available for construction on 20 meter piles. And we have also Azerbaijan colleagues here. Uh, they know that on the other side of the Caspian Sea, the piles go down more than 40 meters. Next. As I said on, about location, and then it's, it, this project, as you see, it looks like a huge lobster. The coverage area of this project is 5,000 hectares. It's 50 million square meters. And number of artificial islands is 78, and these islands are connected by 150 bridges. By the way, I, I must tell that all our ways, roads and bridges, as well as boulevard, they are made by granite. And we have here 78 islands and big islands are kinds of residential and recreational, middle and small islands. We, have, we will have the universities, schools, hospitals, sport facilities, shopping malls, and etc. This project consists of three phases. Phase one, phase two, phase three. And the first phase, just we started this uh, project in late 2010. And the first phase, we plan to finish it by 2020 or 22. The second phase will be finished by 2025-27. The third, the last phase will be finished, will be completed uh, 2030, 32. And 
I would like just to show you our islands here. These are, this is first island, which 80% of which 80% is now already reclimated and we built, I will tell it about it later. We built there more than uh, 11 buildings and restaurant here and cafes and breeds for breeds are ready. And these are, this is, these are uh, residential islands, main islands, and this is the first phase of our pre project. These are recreational, uh, we will have hotels and other facilities here. I mean recreational boutiques, shopping malls and others. And uh, by the way, the tallest building of the world will be built here in our project, Azerbaijan Tower. Uh, it will be 1,050 meters, 222 meters higher than Burj Khalifa. We will have here, after parking, university camp campus, hospitals, mosques, metadrome, golf club, as you see, shopping malls, and etc., as well as Formula One. And we will have here also Disneyland complex. Now we are reclamating this area. Okay. And this. This site is for villas. We will have here 800 villas. <coughs> Number of buildings. We will have 201 residential buildings. Number of flats. Uh, there will be more than 250,000 buildings in whole the project, but this is 58,000, it's in main four islands. And as I mentioned, we will have 150 bridges. And you see figures here. Then the cost, the unique, you know, when we uh, watched on the video, there were some figures that, uh, you know, the, this video a little bit is old, and we just updated some figures. Uh, this city will be home for one million and half, one million and five hundred thousand people, and the budget of this project is one hundred billion euro. Now I will tell. I would like to tell you about some. Uh, infrastructure of this city. This city will be, is expected to be tourism center of Azerbaijan and it will make a great contribution to Azerbaijan's economy. And we will have all facilities for, for our guests and also we will have uh, an airport which will be, which will not be in our city but 10 kilometers away from our city and it's also an opportunity for, for tourists coming to Azerbaijan to see and to visit our city. Now the floor is my colleague. He will continue, then I will join you. Mm -hmm. Continue and uh, showing some of the information and uh, the ideas of how we are seeing uh, Khazar Island is. Uh, we are, what is the uniqueness of the concept? As I said, the concept of Khazar Island, it is not just residential uh, projects that people will come, they will live and they, that's it. No. Uh, as you see, the project is really huge, and the idea is we want to uh, provide a unique life uh, uh, style or uh, unique uh, place for people who want to, to live, to work, or they visit it as uh, a tourist uh, destination. When we said it is a healthy atmosphere, yes, we are creating a really healthy atmosphere in that area because it is away from factories. There is no factories will be around Khazar Islands, no violations. Um, we build and we put a lot of trees, olive trees, palm trees, greenies. Uh, that will uh, really uh, bring uh, a very relaxed uh, air, fresh, and, uh, and will be very excited for the people who really want to feel the difference between 
a crowded city to a, a city with good atmosphere. Then, even the buildings, we are, put, we are uh, developing some systems with some companies that there is uh, air conditioning that help the people who are sitting in the, in the buildings uh, have really fresh air. In, inside the building itself. That's why we are using, we said, the modern technology about uh, the building. Then uh, we have, uh, we are focusing on the renewable energy. Uh, energy. What we said we are using a friend, uh, friendly environment systems for lightings, for uh, uh, waste treat, uh, treatments. All this will be in the, uh, it will take part in the project. That's why we are searching for new ideas and new technology to take part in the project. Um, as you see, the space uh, planning is like this. It is like 5,000 hectares, 70% it is a greens area, 30% it is constructions area. And you, you, if you see from the master plan, it is really all green. Then the materials we are using, as I said, we are building a really unique uh, project. There is no asphalt in the, the roads, it's not asphalt. The only, the first uh, three kilometers in the city, which is the exit, the entrance, it is asphalt. But after that, it's all granite and marble. We are gonna use the aluminum and glass facade for all the building. Uh, there is a roof system from Germany. We use it for some buildings and we are uh, seeing it is very good. Then we have the olive trees. We brought it from Italy and from different country. And we will have more than, uh, till now we have, uh, we already built uh, around 10,000. So, and more is coming in the way. Uh, the practice we see it from Bahrain, uh, from uh, the best practice and the experience we uh, learned from other projects have been done in in case of uh, building artificial islands we we take from Bahrain because Bahrain is a very small city uh, uh, country by the way I'm from Bahrain so uh, we, we we built in Bahrain they built two mega projects, but it is not as Hazar Island. We saw what is the technique and the technology they use it in reclaiming the, the sea. And from the way, uh, because they face some problems also when they reclaim some uh, islands, like palm tree and the sand problems and the water treatments. So we learn from them and we take their experience to avoid any problems in our projects and things is going really well in our project now. Then uh, this is some information Mr. Tal will take you through. In our project, uh, till now uh, we have reclamated three islands in the phase one. Island number one has been reclamated, it's 85%. Uh, Number two, seventy-five percent, and number five, as you see, twenty percent. What we have done, what is ready till now, uh, we have one outer sport complex which includes stadiums uh, for football, volleyball, basketball, and we have now uh, ready three bridges, functional three bridges, and we have now five restaurants, including two shishi houses. Now we. Uh, more than 5.5 5 .5 kilometer road from granite are now functioning. And as I said, we will have the longest boulevard in the world, 150 kilometer, and it's four kilometer is already done. And we have beach complex. Uh, we hosted more than uh, 2,000, 3,000 people this summer. And we have also sales office there. Approximately money spent for this uh, project till now it's one billion and six hundred million euro. Now uh, that 
works on the progress. These are four buildings. We, we say buildings, but it's, you know, blocks, but it's normal buildings. Eleven blocks, eleven buildings are now ready. Uh, in uh, one month, they will have facets, aluminum facets. And uh, now nine restaurants are under construction, 40 houses, cafes, as well as administrative buildings, sales office number two, and two bridges. And also uh, reclamation of Disneyland complex is under, uh, underway, as well as one hotel, one indoor sport complex, and we will have also bungala complex, entertainment area for kids as well. Then now piles for three buildings, which has 11 blocks. Now uh, we are making their piles. Current project states too that what we plan in the nearest future, uh, we reclamate uh, islands number three and islands number four, and we will build six buildings, which includes 18 blocks, and we will also construct about 10 bridges in this uh, stage, as well as uh, administrative building uh, and hotel buildings. Now, I would like to add something to our presentation. Yesterday we talked just about it, just which companies, uh, Turkish companies, are involved in our project. I would like to uh, just uh, remind their names. For example, uh, Aygün Aluminium is our partner, uh, as well as Info Group, then uh, Doka, and as well as uh, Uritim, uh, our friend knows this company, as well as Tashiapu and Nrol. These companies are our key partners from Turkey. We have Anazias as well, but I don't, remind, I don't remember their, their names. Thank you for your attention, and we are uh, happy to get questions from you. Thank you for everything that you did for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Talek, thank you very much for presentation. Uh, you already mentioned that uh, the investment which is already spent is approximately one and a half uh, million of uh, euros. Uh, can you please uh, share with us? I mean, uh, what is the? Who are the investors? I mean, is it uh, Azerbaijan-based? Maybe there are some other investors from foreign countries. Thank you. Okay, Mr. It's open. Mr. Ruslan, thank you very much. Uh, maybe many of these people do not know about Mr. Haji Ibrahim, but you know him very well, that till this project, he was one of the billionaires in Azerbaijan. He has so many residential complexes that he built in, uh, in Baku, in different areas of, in different uh, districts of Baku, as well as some uh, trade and Alshverish markets, the trade centers. What has been spent till now, Mr. Ibrahim just uh, came from his own budget, from our holding. But now uh, there are so many companies from many countries that they show great interest to, to this project. For example, we have now uh, active talks with Chinese companies, Chinese investment companies, as well as Kuwait uh, and Dubai, as well as Iranian, uh, one Czech company. For example, Turkish companies like Tashep and Rol, they will invest their uh, money and they will build themselves uh, the residential buildings. Uh, just uh, in the nearest future, uh, we will have flow of investments, and it will be big amount. But till now, it will be done. It it has been done by our own uh, means. Thank you. Okay. Uh, one point regarding the investment. 
or the investors. Um, as you see in the presentation, maybe you didn't pay attention. There's there's uh, the the retain on investment, which is two hundred percent. Yes. So uh, the uh, we are uh, we are welcome with uh, any investors. It is open to invest. And uh, we, we have already some negotiations with some investors because they, they see there is a good potential in this project. By the way, <clears throat> when we, we didn't launch yet the, the official sales of the apartments, we just having some meetings like here and we sold 213 uh, apartments uh, in maybe less than one month from now. So when we see these potentials and we see the demand of, uh, for, for the projects, that should give very positive uh, signal for the investors to come and to invest because no, as, you, as you see uh, in Baku or in Azerbaijan, the price of per square meter now in some areas like 4,000 or 5,000, while we have it in our project with all this luxurious uh, set up and finishing starting with 4,000 so imagine after five years from now what is the price will be we said here with very conservative that we are having 200 percent uh, returns on investment uh, ROI but uh, we are having a study with Ernest and Young because they are our consultants now they might be more so Investors are most welcome and they have to get this opportunity. Thank you. Yeah. And here also, here I think it's first year. Thank you. Uh, it's an amazing project actually. I am shocked actually. Uh, many thanks for your nice pre presentation. I just would like to uh, about the green strategies of the of the project. Are you going to having any any lead or BM certification? Are you going to build up these buildings as green, uh, energy efficient, water efficient, environmentally friendly, and uh, more healthier building? So, thanks. It is uh, one of the uh, key in our projects, it is a friendly environment. So yes, we are planning to have some pro uh, buildings with the green. That's why I was thinking and we will discuss later. Thank you. Well, uh, hi, thank you very much. Yeah. Really interesting. We're all aware of this project, but you know, witnessing what's going on up close, thanks a lot. I'd like to take a step back to the macro scale though. In any project like this, from experience I know, no matter how hard you work on to make it sophisticated, calm, secure, when it touches the land, you need to have a development strategy, an urban development strategy to keep it like that from you know, 10 years away from now, a decade later, because these are known as magnets for development around them. So the fresh air concept, green concept, great for today. What about 10 years later? Are you taking your precautions? Of course. Could you shed light on it? Yes, um, just to uh, share some information, there are some details we can uh, discuss it also. Um, as you see, as you are aware that we are building in the sea and there is a lot of risks because of the earthquakes, of the waves, and of, uh, because of the, what you call it, zilzal or something, you know? In Turkish or Azari, they call it zilzal, yes? Zelda, yes. Earthquake, yes. So, uh, when um, our president, he started uh, the concept and uh, uh, discussed this with the government, they told him, okay, you have to do some uh, tests on the buildings and uh, you have to do like five degrees on uh, five Richter, uh, you know, for the shaking and should be approved. What he did? He did the test for the, the buildings will, will resist up to nine, just to make sure that things is, will be very sustainable and will be uh, strong enough to protect. Because in the end of the day, when you are building this type of projects, there is a life, people life. And we have to be very sure about how strong it is and 
how it will go. That's why we are saying all the, uh, the buildings, uh, we, we have it. We build it according to a very strict standard that uh, keep it very strong to face these risks. One thing. Thank you for your question, Mr. Rakan. <clears throat> you know, uh, many things depend on your partners when you realize a project. Therefore, when we cooperate with companies, we choose most influential, most prestigious companies, most famous companies, which uh, have international, uh, how to say, uh, international practice. As you said, we mentioned it before that we build, we are building the project of future, not for today. For, for example, 20 years, 30 years, not only 10 years, even for 100 years. Therefore, when we choose our companies, uh, that's uh, our partners, uh, the criteria are very important for us, that they meet or not. Uh, for example, we, meet, uh, we work on aluminum, iron aluminum, their products are from Shuko. We know Shuko. Therefore, the quality of products, quality of company are of great importance for us. Thank you. Thank you very much.